As a financial advisor, you either get paid in fees or commissions, or if you're like many virtual advisors, it's usually a combination of the two. But have you ever considered which one is actually better or how you can use specific income goals to establish just how much you have to sell on a daily or weekly basis? Well, in this video, financial advisor Chris Gaddis shares the exact formula that he uses to consistently meet his revenue goals. Let's go ahead and take a look. Fees versus commissions. How will you be compensated? How often do you actually think about this? I, I don't know. And again, this is a lot based on the problems I had as a struggling advisor where I'm like, I just need to sell something to get paid. I was whatever I could sell, I'll sell it. I make money. I just keep selling. And it's this mentality of just wake up and sell. That if we actually take the time to practically think about how we're paid, what we're paid, and how to maximize that, that's the next step here. So fees versus commissions. You guys know what fees are, right? And and, and disclosure, there's licenses and all those things involved here. So make sure you talk to your compliance and teams and all that. How you can get paid, how your broker dealer allows it. Some of the things I say may not apply based on, you know, the rules and regulations you got to abide by. But in general, you know, you have fees. How are you charging hourly? Are there planning fees? How often will you charge it? Like one thing that really helped me um, in planning fees. So my broker dealer would only allow me to charge planning fees at the time of the plan. We could do half up front, half when we delivered. That's how it was done. So that's a big lump sum to somebody every year. And that's harder to swallow. Right. And so I was talking with a senior advisor. And he said, what I do is I open a brokerage account. I have them deposit monthly into that, the one twelfth of the annual fee. And when the fee comes around, I have a signing agreement. We take the money from the brokerage account. That's how we got around it. I'm like, genius. <laughs> That's very smart. I was able, you know, that, that allows you to make it a little easier for the client, build your own recurring uh, revenue up. And so it's little things like that that you have the potential opportunity to do that really can help you. All right. And so just kind of walking through and determining all these things. Things. Are you committed to fees? I love this question. Are you committed to it? As we're building our business model, we, we sitting in front of a client and saying, hey, I'll sell you life policy, you paid a commission versus, hey, I'm going to charge you $3,000 for a financial plan. That's hard emotionally, <laughs> intellectually, right, in front of a client. Um, and we, we get we get a little uptight and fearful when we're saying how much we're going to charge for a fee. So we got to be committed to that. Are we willing to walk away from a deal if we're not getting the fee that we are rightfully uh, entitled to? And we're going to talk about that in a minute, how to determine that. All right. Commissions. You guys know that. What products? So carriers. Um, what's the grid rates that you're on? That matters based on production. Uh, are you going to choose level comp or are you going to load it up in the front, which makes you be a salesperson every week, right? One of the big changes I made was taking level comp. Um, and I'll just share the numbers. I'll tell you right now. I, the last year I was, well, before I went to my own production, I did about 160,000 in, in revenue to me, not GDC or anything. The next year I started doing level comp, it was under 60, just under 60,000, a huge $100,000 pay cut one year. It took me about three years to really see that all come back from just taking level comp, but I was committed to it. And by taking level comp on just that business, then I, I didn't have to wake up and sell every day anymore. That, that was a huge, huge thing for me. That gave me freedom of time back, the stuff that we're talking about here. All right. Uh, or hybrid of both. And I'm sure most of you will. Some of your RAs and just doing fees and whatever it may be, or you can do a hybrid. Just understanding that it's very important and deciding what type of advisor you're going to be, how you're going to be compensated. Okay. All right. And there's no right or wrong answer here, right? It's it's how you're going to do it. And this is, this is, I'll share one more personal story here because this is another thing that really changed. So at Ameriprise, my uh, mentor starting out was Jeff Miller and Jeff Miller. What I loved about Jeff Miller is before I, when I was in college, I used to work there and you're paid hourly. <laughs> That's how I was paid. And uh, Jeff Miller loved to go on rants about history <laughs> and politics and government. And I'd sit there for hours listening to rants about things that, had, you know, didn't matter to me as far as learning the financial services industry, but I got paid hourly to sit there. And one of the thing, only thing I really remember other than him ranting uh, was one time he asked me a question. He asked me who I lied to the most. And I said, my parents, <laughs> I was like 20 years old, 18, 20 years old. Uh, and he goes, no, you lied to yourself the most. And he said, well, you don't even realize. And he explained to me this whole thing. And this is something that stuck with me. And so coming back to this last thought here is be honest with it. Who are we? What type of advisor? Not what we want to be, right? 
Now we want to be, because I'll share one more secret. If you saw my perfect work week, I was working out every morning. I'm not a workout in the morning type, but I knew successful people did that. So I'm like, I have to do it, but I could never get myself to do it. I would do it okay, and then not, and then on and off. I realized I work out at night. That's what I do. When I change that, my whole workout schedule, like my whole health changed from there. Be honest with ourselves as we're doing this. You got to be honest. All right. Hourly rates. Lots of good comments coming. I'm trying to keep keep my eyes on everything here. So, Jeremiah, make sure if I'm missing any nuggets or anything we need to hit. Yeah, I got you. Hourly Manny, charge. Manny are doing a great job here. Just a quick thing, Chris. Could you make your screen just a little bit bigger? Like zoom the yeah. um, maybe zoom the PDF just a little bit wider. Yeah. Awesome, brother. Right Perfect. Yep. That's great. All right. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Yep. All right. So hourly rate. What's our hourly rate? This is important. Now, some of you might think you need to spend time here, but I, I really think you do. Because if you're commission only, like I don't get paid hourly, this still applies. And I'll show you why in a moment. But as we're going through this exercise, and I'll spare you the, the details of it. Um, but, you know, basically, if we say how many weeks in a year, how many weeks do we take off? We need to figure this out. How many weeks are we going to be off? If we're not working. Um, we need to know that because we're not we don't have vacation days that we can take. How many hours a week are you willing to work? All right. Here's the math of that. How much do you want to make a year? Here's where you put your goal. All right. As 100,000, 200, 500 million, whatever that is. All we do is we take those hours you work, divided by that number, and we have an hourly rate. So even if that's $100, $500, whatever that number is, that's a very basic way of doing this. Whatever that number is now can dictate our activity. Remember, we're building a business model here. We need to understand how we're paid and what we need to be paid to hit our goals. Ah, yes, as the old saying goes, if you fail to plan, then you are planning to fail. Well, the best way to intentionally and consistently reach your revenue goals as an insurance or a financial advisor is to reverse engineer them into what is effectively an hourly rate. So my question is, do you want the exact workbook with formulas that Chris just shared on his screen during this video? Oh, I know you do. Go ahead and click the link in the description below to book a free 15 minute discovery chat. You're going to love it. And as always, please like and subscribe to our channel for new amazing financial advisor marketing tips released every single week. All right. Catch you next time.